Hi guys, so I'm back for another video. Just thought I'd share with you tea for this evening. Take a look at this beast. I've gone, <laughs> I've pushed the boat out tonight, I think. Go me. Um, you know, I can be healthy sometimes. Um, I know that you see me uploading things like pizzas and um, the VFC stuff um, and things that are already created by a supermarket saying I just didn't get um I can sometimes push the boat out and go a bit mad and have a bit of broccoli and carrots and mushrooms um it looks like I've had a takeout but I haven't this is all created from at home and a bit of help from squeaky bean um so yeah tea for this evening um, has been by using these bad boys. This is something new I've seen on the Sainsbury's shop. I was like, oh, oh, I've got to have something new. I love Squeaky Bean. I think their stuff is just fantastic. Um, you know, I've never bothered with them much before. I bought one item from them uh, when I was first vegan. It was some kind of Kiev with like a katsu curry middle in it. And I did not like it. I pretended to my parents when I was round their house because uh, I was invited for t for like Sunday dinner. And my mum was like, ooh, what, what, what do you eat now that you're vegan? And I was like, do you know what? I will buy something for me. You just focus on your stuff. Ooh. And um, I'll buy my own. And I'll bring it. And that's it. It's just got to have a few bits of veg shoved by the side of it. Jobs are good. And so I bought the katsu curry, which is a Kiev thing. No, it wasn't a katsu curry. It was um, like a satay thing. It was peanuts. That's it, because it was peanutty taste. And I love peanuts. I love peanut butter. But this just did not float the boat for me at all. Um, so I decided to just, you know, wing it a little bit and pretend that I liked it and... Just was like, yay, this is lovely. And my mum was like, oh, do you want the other one as well? And I was like, oh, no, I'll have that one at home. Um, So, yeah, so that's what I did. And I sort of then thought that the rest of the squeaky bean range was going to be as pants as that was. But actually, I should have thought, do you know what? Um just because you don't like one thing doesn't mean the rest of the range is going to be absolutely diabolical. Um, but I just went with what I thought was like, yeah, it's going to all taste awful. And so I went on to other ranges and never looked at it again until just before Christmas, I think it was. I bought their pastrami um, and there was some roast chicken -y style pieces as well and I bought them and it was like OMG these are fantastic and ever since then it's like they've got um, a tortilla rain a tortilla as well it looks like a gigantic omelette um, but it's quite a decent you know it's not huge but it's just nice uh, it's not as scary as one that I found in Tesco's that like feeds a family of like eight people or something um, and it's really really nice um, you know, so I've got a few of them in because the date and is until March. I'm like flipping it, get a few of them in quick. Um, before these new vegans start um <laughs> eating and buying everything that I like, because everything that I've really, really loved, like the Beyond Burgers, are out of stock. Via Life Great G seems to be like uh ha -ha, you can't get that at the minute. So we shall see. I've ordered some shopping for tomorrow with Asda. I'm going to see what comes. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the sticky Chinese style ribs, beef style pieces with sticky sauce. Um, and I thought, hmm, I've got some broccoli that's yet to be opened up. That's already pre-chopped. I've got some carrot baton so I don't have to fight with knives and my swollen hands and panic that I'm going to chop a finger off or something um just rip a mushroom into bits um chuck them in a pan and get on with it so yeah you um 
your pieces come separate to your, your sauce. Um, so yeah, I just chucked it all in, like get on with it. And there's some peppers there as well. Um, yeah, fantastic. It just looks so good. I'm just <laughs> admiring my handiwork through the camera. I'm like, oh, look at that. Um, yeah, and then I've even gone one step further and I've put some salad together, look. There's lettuce, a bit of little gem there, tomato, cucumber, just in case you don't know what these things are. <laughs> and then I've got some uh, tofu there. This is the um, tofu company one. It is a little bit charred on one side because I sort of uh, forgot about it as I was sorting out my salad. Uh, this is the smoky, uh, smoked one, and it's just gone nice and crispy. So all this is going to go in these El Del Paso pocket things. Um, oh, no. They've gone hard now from me talking. Oh, hey. <laughs> that's not good <laughs> it doesn't say that on the packet you know either when you've um you've cooked them for a bit get your filling in quick because they go rock hard else shit <laughs> oh well never mind i just i just dunk them in my sauce and my salad never mind the thought was there <laughs> And they actually, these um, wrap things, they're like, um, well, yeah, they've got a bottom to them. So you don't have the uh, the risk of losing half of your filling before you've even taken a bite. Um, I'm going to have a fight with them in a minute, see if I can get them open and get my filling in um, and see what happens. But maybe not. Um, so yeah, but they've, it's a pack of eight and I thought, oh shit, I'm going to have to eat about four of them in one hit. But now um, the packet has got like a, a divider in. So you've got four and then four if you want that. So that's absolutely pucker. I was like, great stuff, Eldo El Paso. Love you. Right, I'm going to go and eat this. I'm going to fight with these things. See if I can tear them open. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen there, but hey. And I'm going to eat this, and it does taste absolutely gorgeous. And I'm not lying, it is lovely. I mean, look at that. Oh, look at that. It's been a really good day today. Um, I've had an assessment to have some adaptions done at my home, and it looks like... Um, I'm going to be allowed to have things done. So, yeah, I'm really, really pleased. It's like, woohoo, <laughs> time to celebrate. Well, when I get the um, confirmation that I am going to definitely get these bits done, it'll be so good. It's going to be great because I've been so, so struggling for so long uh, with all my health issues and everything that... Um, you sort of get used to struggling, if you like, um, to a degree. And then you have a bit of a cry and, the, you know, and I think, why me? <laughs> but, um, yeah, let's see what happens. I'm really looking forward to the rest of 2021 because I think we're in for some good times. Well, I am anyway. Um, so, yeah, right, I'm going to love and leave because I need to eat this before it goes cold. Right, tra, tra.